What's up guys, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports and today I'm joined by Paul from Go Rhino. And we're gonna be taking a look at these BR series rear bumpers and basically just doing kind of a walkthrough of what you get and some of the features and different things that set this Go Rhino bumper apart from the other competition. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So uh, Paul, can you give us kind of a rundown of what this bumper is? Absolutely. So the BR20 uh, is our rear bumper that matches up to our BR5 or our BR10 front bumper. And so what we've done is, is with Go Rhino and being around for 40 years, we want a customer to be able to put product on his vehicle where he can get a full vehicle treatment. So you don't want to have to have one manufacturer for the front bumper and another manufacturer for the rear bumper. So uh, what you'll see with all of our BR20 rear bumpers is they will all have a complimentary front bumper to go with it. Um, some of the key features of the BR20 is that we, when you go aftermarket, the last thing you want to do is lose some of the features and benefits that you have stock on your truck. So we wanted to make sure that everything that's on the truck stock, you can still use in the aftermarket. And that's what the BR20 does for you. Uh, you still have your backup sensors that can still be used. You still have your trailer plug if you're going to be a tra if you've got a trailer package on the truck that can still be used. You got the spare tire crank where you can that still can be used. Um, and you actually have lighting provisions that'll light the license plate up um, that that you'll use uh, like you had on your stock truck. Uh, the newer version, the BR20.5 has done some of those same things, but added some additional uh, uh, things like a larger footstep area. So you'll see over here in the BR20, we got a nice little area that the customer can put his foot in when he wants to step into the bed of the truck. And so some of the feedback was they wanted a larger step pad. So on the, some of the 20.5s, you'll notice a larger step pad. But uh, this 20 and the 20.5 have been selling very, very well. It is funny that a lot of customers will actually buy the front and the rear bumper at the same time because they like that matching look. Um, the other thing about the, the vehicle is, or the bumper is, again, it does have a mounting bracket that you mount first, and then you hang the rear bumper on that. Um, and it does ship in a box, so heaven forbid, like somebody put an orange in a banana peel uh, and the customer doesn't realize it until he starts putting it on, we can actually have that product shipped back because it actually ships in a box. So um, real quick and easy, for any of you guys that are do-it-yourselfers, this is actually a product you could tackle in the driveway of your, at your home and easily put this on in a couple hours. Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned that. So uh, the bumper does come packaged really nicely. I know this one specifically that you guys sent us came in uh, boxed up and wrapped really well. Now uh, with the mounting, uh, you guys do have a little bit of a different system, whereas a lot of the other guys making aftermarket bumpers have the brackets built in, but you guys do it a bit different. Can you kind of explain how that works? Absolutely, the mounting brackets both in the front uh, bumper or the front bumper and also in the rear bumper, we mount to the, the frame of the vehicle. Uh, we feel that if anybody's going to actually use the D-shackles and actually pull or anything, you don't want that, just as you pointed out, just basically welded onto the bumper. So we actually have that going to the frame of the vehicle. And then you actually just then take the bumper and hang that onto the mounting. So it really, it's a two-part install, but it guarantees you that, like you pointed out, you're actually bolting to the frame of the vehicle and you've got a solid connection there. And, and we have get so many testimonies about somebody getting rear-ended, or we actually had a customer in Canada where a moose was going in front of the freeway and our front bumper hit that. And these things have really withstand some, some serious impact. So if you're looking for a beefy, off-road, aggressive looking uh, steel bumper, not aluminum, we definitely have the Go Runner BR20 set up for you. Perfect. And yeah, as you mentioned, so durability is obviously a big thing that most customers are looking for when they're shopping for bumpers for their vehicle and if they use it off-road or whatever that application may be. So can you kind of give us an idea of what we're looking at for materials and finish here on a bumper like yeah, this? Yeah, you're still four gauge steel. Uh, finish, that's a great question. The powder coating in the aftermarket industry, usually you see about a one to three year uh, coverage on the powder coating. Go Rhino actually goes to five years. We have five year warranty on our, on our powder coat. So this should add some extra comfort for you guys in the snow belt area. Uh, especially today, they're using harsher and harsher aggressive uh, salt uh, uh, on the roads to get rid of the ice and the snow. So you want to make sure that you have a product that has a warranty uh, and a finish that's going to withstand that. So we do have a five-year warranty finish on our product, and then, then the pro uh, on the finish, and then the product itself we always stand behind. So if there's a manufacturer defect or if uh, there's something that the customer experiences, we, we usually take it back, no questions asked. Awesome. Now, one last thing I wanted to touch on is on this bumper, we've got these sort of delete plates in the sides oh, where really the lights would mount. Yes, yes. Uh, what's, so is that something where you 
don't have a mount to work with or you guys swap the mounts in or how does that system work? Great question. So some guys will actually with a backup bumper, you know, uh, if let's say they're hauling a boat and they're backing up in a landing, they want the, the, the rear backup lights. You can definitely put the backup lights in the rear bumper. Uh, we do ship it with just a blank plate. We understand that not everybody's gonna put lights in there, so we don't wanna leave holes there. So we actually do ship it with the plate. Um, but if he does decide to go aftermarket and get you know, Rigid or another name brand out there in lights, they can get the plates where they bolt it right on in, and that adds additional lighting. And again, anybody that's backing into a landing or, or backing into a dark spot, having those backup lights really flood that area and, and make it easy, a little bit more comfortable to back up into. Yeah, for sure. I know on a lot of our builds, we'd like to have lights in there, even just off-road when you're trying to back up on a narrow trail at night or something where you just can't see what you're doing. It makes a huge difference, but having that already accommodated into the bumper is awesome. Yep, and then so to go off of this, this is your BR20 and then going up to the BR20.5. Again, these fit both light duty and heavy duty. The BR20.5 is based on your feedback. Be honest, you guys, when you guys send feedback or videos in, we listen and we take that back to our R&D team. And after 40 years, even though they, they got a lot of experience, we do listen to the customer. So the 20.5 will have additional features built into the bumper. For example, we've noticed on the new Super Duties, they have the, or the new Chevy Silverado, they have the blind sensor. And it's a little sensor that goes right here that looks and sees if anybody's in your blind spot. Well, again, you don't wanna go aftermarket and lose this pretty cool feature. So on our BR20.5, you'll actually have a plate, a plastic plate, because you gotta allow that signal to go through and it won't go through steel. Um, that'll allow you to keep that blind spot sensor. So again, going Go Rhino, you don't lose any of those features that you got brand new from the dealership. Yeah, that's excellent. That definitely makes it a lot more approachable, especially for guys who aren't wanting to completely alter their truck or have to make those sacrifices. Exactly. So that being said, I think that pretty much covers these bumpers. Thank you, Paul, for coming in and kind of walking us through all the details. And no, absolutely. We appreciate the time uh, with Stage 3 Motorsports. You guys have been a great online. You guys are an authorized dealer. We encourage you guys, if you're buying online today, there's a lot of people selling a lot of different product. You definitely want to go to an authorized reseller. Stage 3 is an authorized reseller, so if they get in themselves into a burning building, they know that we'll, we'll support them. So uh, appreciate the time out here, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy your new bumper. Absolutely. And as Paul mentioned before, we do have a video over, overviewing the front bumpers. So if you guys want to check that out, we'll put a link there for you. And also you can head down to the description below, click those links and it'll shoot you over to our site so you can check out the listings on these bumpers if you're interested in picking them up for your vehicle. And we'll see you guys next time.